Welcome to this week's edition of Foreigner Watch. I'm your host, Nancy Gunn. Each week we find and profile un-American activities and movements around the world. This week, Mexico. In recent weeks, Foreigner Watch has learned of a secret movement that threatens to tear apart the very fabric of the American dream. As we all know, several years ago we declared a war on drugs. Drugs are bad, and so a war on drugs is good. But now, there are those in Mexico who have taken sides against us. Taken sides with the drugs. They are calling themselves victims of the drug war. We go now live to Mexico to our international correspondent Pete Powers with the story. First of all, thank you for covering this story for us. We're very lucky we have someone on staff who speaks Mexican. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Spanish, exactly. indeed. So tell me, what is the mood like where you are? Are you in immediate danger from the Mexicans? Not at this moment. Well, things are obviously escalating. We have asked Pete to move away from the public area before things get too out Actually, of Actually, I have with us at this moment a member of the movement who has agreed to speak to us exclusively. Sir, would you please tell me what your name is? Como se llama usted? Mi nombre es Melchor Flores Hernández. So how long have you been a terrorist? Uh, ¿Cuánto tiempo ha sido usted un terrorista? No digas pendejadas, gringo. Yo nunca he sido un terrorista. Soy un activista. He says hello. Why do you hate Americans? Um, ¿Por qué odia usted a los Estados Unidos? Yo nunca he odiado a Estados Unidos. Porque son nuestros vecinos del norte. And how much cocaine do you have on you right now? Um, si uh, no es mucha molestia... Um, ¿Cuánta cocaína tiene usted en este momento? No, yo no tengo ninguna, nada de, de cocaína. Ya te dije, yo tengo pura proteína. It's hard to imagine this kind of depravity. To help us better understand what we're seeing, we've invited Ida Dumas to the show. Ida is an analyst for the FBI and the president of AFBM, also known as Americans for Better Mexicans. Ida, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Nancy. So, Ida, tell me, you've been seeing some of these terrifying images coming out of Mexico. Can you help us to understand what we're seeing? Unfortunately, Nancy, this is typical behavior. I'm not surprised at all. Of course. Can you elaborate on that? Well, as you know, Nancy, I've been studying Mexican culture for years. Uh, I've dated tons of Mexicans. I mean, a lot, a lot of Mexicans. And as an analyst, of course, I don't like to make generalizations, but all of my data indicates that Mexicans are liars. Thank you, Ida. So, Pete, a few more questions for our Mexican friend. How long have you been addicted to crack? Um, but I, I don't... Um, These are the tough questions I, that yeah. need to be asked, Pete. Ask him why he wants to kill our children. Es que yo creo que la gente en los Estados Unidos están muy confundidos de por qué ustedes están en contra de la guerra de las drogas. ¿Nos puede explicar un poco más por qué? Porque es una, una guerra en contra de... No, no es una guerra en contra de, del narcotráfico ni de, en contra de, del, del crimen organizado. Es una, es una guerra declarada a la, a la sociedad civil. Es por eso que hay tantos muertos, tantos desaparecidos, tantos secuestros. Uh, he's saying that he does not want to kill our children. Again, facts don't lie, the Mexicans do. Whether it's Alejandro telling me he's not married, Juan telling me he loves me, or Fernando telling me he's into my troll doll collection when really he couldn't have cared less about it. All the evidence points to the fact that Mexicans lie. Mexicans lie, it's what they do. Ask him. Ask him how many hearts he's broken. Ask him how many women he's made cry. How many women have you made cry? Uh, ¿Nos puede explicar un poco más de por qué usted se involucró con el movimiento? Porque tengo un hijo desaparecido en Monterrey. Fue secuestrado por la policía regia. Él era un, es un joven, este, un performance, estatua humana un mimo que trabajaba en, en la vía pública y el hecho de trabajar en la vía pública en Monterrey fue el motivo de que lo desapareciera el gobierno de Monterrey. 
Enough of this propaganda. When are you planning your attack on the United States? Don Melchor, ¿qué es lo que el mundo tiene que saber? Que es un movimiento, como su nombre lo dice, por la paz, por la justicia y por la dignidad. Es un movimiento ciudadano, es un movimiento de víctimas de esta guerra en contra de la ciudadanía. Hay sangre derramada de gente inocente. Gracias. So there you have it. There is danger and chaos just to the west of us. You know what, guys? I quit. It appears we've lost the feed.